Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, negative 30 degrees real feel. I believe it was actually 33 a little bit later in the day. Anyway, thanks for tuning in today. We got to replace that front hydraulic pump on this that runs the loader. So we're going to release the pressure from the loader, unbox my new 9 gallon per minute pump. The one in the loader right now is an 11 gallon per minute. And it's just sucking a little bit too much horsepower to really get my rear tires going. So I'm going to put in this smaller hydraulic pump on the loader to give us more horsepower to the rear wheels. And I ordered that from Rugged Made. It was about 100 bucks. Uh, step one here is to take out that 11-gallon. So there, I'm loosening the tensioner on it. It's set up on kind of a system where as you screw it down, it tightens the tension on the belt. So we got that loosened up, and then the next step will be to actually remove the pump from what I'm going to call the bracket that holds the pump into place. There's a good shot of it, taking that bracket off. And then obviously I got to get both lines removed. And I don't know if you're really supposed to or not, but what I did on those lines, I used a fuel line cut off and pinched them on there. So as you can see, there's not much difference in the 9 and 11 gallon. Just switching over the hardware and the pulley on there. Get some new set screws. So obviously I needed some small fingers to help me get the uh, bolt and nut assembly started. My daughter was unable to help because the dog was licking her face, I guess. So I recruited my son. He was able to go through the torture of the old three-legged dog licking his face while he was helping me get that nut and bolt started. So now we got those started and it's kind of in there in place. So now our next step is um, to get the tensioner put on there. And it wasn't quite lined up, so I used that ratchet strap to pull it back a little bit. Got it straight. And then now I can work on that tensioner bolt and get my lines hooked up. There's actually a good shot of that fuel line shut off I have pinched around the, the line there. So we got that off, so we're ready to go in the future. And now it's just about buttoning everything back up. I'd say all in all, the whole job was about an hour. Uh, not too bad, and it was something to do on such a super cold day out. All right, guys, you can hear the heater in the background. We got about 65 degrees in the garage. You saw the little picture, negative 33 degrees outside real field. So pretty cold day out. We worked on this hydraulic pump. We got that 11 gallon per minute pump out. We got the nine gallon per minute pump installed. That should be a little bit easier on the 12 horsepower Kohler, giving us enough horsepower to the rear wheels. So that is pretty much done. We've got one other project with the loader and I'll zoom in here so you can see that. Place that support arm. We've got this steel right here which is a quarter inch thick steel wall, where that I believe is a 32nd. I'm not 100% sure on that. Those were the ones we used to have running to the front. Um, so I thought they'd be strong enough. Obviously they're not, so we're gonna replace that in the future. And uh, the other future video we got coming up, say hi to Hope. How you doing, Hopey? All right. Is putting in a new rear hydraulic pump. So we got to get that cleaned up in the next couple days and get that in. Get a chance, hit like and subscribe, and we'll see you next video.